I am your teacher, Gary Vernier. Welcome to Activate Your Grammar. Today, you are going to learn the possessive adjectives in English. Let's begin with what you already know, the possessive adjectives in Spanish. Mi, mis. Este es mi libro. Estos son mis libros. Su, sus. Este es su libro. Estos son sus libros. Nuestro, nuestros. Este es nuestro libro. Estos son nuestros libros. In Spanish, it is very easy. It is also very easy in English. However, please be very aware. This is perhaps the number one mistake that Spanish speakers make in my English classes. In English, the word su in Spanish has four different meanings. Su can mean his, her, your, or its. And sus means there. I'm going to repeat that because almost all students want to say your to translate su every time in English. And that is not correct. Su equals his. Su can also equal her. Su could also equal its. Su could also equal your. Sus equals their. The video will now stop and you will have an activity working only with su and its proper use in English. Good luck! Okay, did you understand when to use his, her, its, or your? It actually is very simple. The context of the sentence will let you know whether you are talking about a male, female, a thing, or directly to someone. Here are some examples. If you are talking about Sarah, you would say, her car is blue. If you are talking about John, you would say, his car is blue. If you are talking about a horse, you would say, its mane is very beautiful. If you are talking directly to me, you would say, your car is white. In Spanish, all four sentences would use just one word, su, so be careful. Here are all of the possessive adjectives in English. My, my car is old. Your, your car is old. His, his car is old. Her, her car is old. Its, its tires are new. Our, our car is old. Their, their car is old. The video will now stop and you will have an activity to practice using possessive adjectives in English. Congratulations! Now you understand how to use possessive adjectives in English and you are never going to translate Sue wrong again. I will see you back here again for the next lesson. Good luck!